Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for Maxville and St. John, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on Sandy Land Center, our website. Today is Wednesday, the 21st of September. The temperature at noontime is 62 degrees. And we're having a partly cloudy day today with a high of 70 later this afternoon. Then the, uh, the next five days are all sunny. <coughs> so we'll just give you the, uh, the high temperature for the next five days. Uh, Thursday 78 and Friday 78 as well. Uh, Saturday 85, Sunday 84, and Monday 79. Then today we'd like to say happy birthday to Bill Boyle and Logan Bear. And tomorrow, Cleo Bartlett and Marsha Dryden. We hope that all of you enjoy and have great birthdays. Um, because of uh, some of the special meetings that have gone on uh, this week, uh, on Sunday at 1 o'clock we will have special broadcast. And the first part will be uh, the Monday night special meeting of the City Council. Then, uh, then the next one will be the public hearing uh, Tuesday evening. And then the City Council regular meeting after the public hearing uh, Tuesday. And so those will all be on at 1 o'clock. And that will probably carry you right into the time for the church broadcast at uh, 6.30. I'm not sure how long these meetings are going to be, but I don't think they'll be very short. Uh, then, uh, something to look forward to, on October 8th, the Saturday, the Wichita Model A Club is coming to town, and there will be 35 or so Model A's parked around the square, and around lunchtime, you could probably go around, uh, they're coming at 10, you could probably walk around the square and talk to some of the owners of the Model A's. And for some of you, uh, Model A would be a really interesting experience because uh, not many of us have even uh, experienced seeing Model A you know, other than in books. <coughs> so this is sponsored by the Science Museum to bring in a crowd of people and I'm sure there'll be probably 70 people or so associated with the Model A group uh, plus uh, other people who know they're coming will come to see the event. And uh, the Science Museum and the Hall Museum uh, will both be open. And the uh, lunch for the Model A people is uh, sponsored by the Science Museum. So that's a good thing. And thank you to the Science Museum for bringing uh, some people to town and some uh, other things to town like the Model A's that will cause even more people to come to town on Saturday. So I hope Dylan's is ready with an extra cashier. Uh, <coughs> all right, then we go to the uh, Recreation Commission. Uh, is uh, Thursday the 22nd, and uh, they're having uh, from 3.30 to 4.30 a fun with paint and a pillowcase. For kindergarten through sixth grade, it costs 60 cent, 50 cents. And it'll be at the Wet Center from 3.30 to 4.30 in the afternoon. Then the Stafford County Health Department has let us know that they have uh, the uh, things to give flu shots to people and most insurance cards cover the $20. So bring your medical card or insurance card and call the uh, Health Department first to get an appointment to have a flu shot. And they're at 3504. Then, uh, if uh, the city truck is available and no one else has uh, reserved it, uh, on September 28th, the Recreation Commission is planning a uh, trip to Dodge City for a casino day. And they're going at 8 and be back at 4. And there's also a possibility of shopping at the mall. And the fee is $10 for transportation. So 6549, and you can reserve uh, a seat, hopefully, unless they're full, which would be a good thing just in itself. Now, we come to a last and 
really important part, and that's the menu for the VIP Center in Maxville, and we're really glad at the way the VIP Center in Maxville always sends us their menu in time for us to put it on the TV. And today is beef tips on noodles. And tomorrow, roast turkey with gravy and mashed potatoes. And then on Friday, taco salad. And then you can look forward on Monday to a sloppy joe. So, all of the people in uh, Maxville, you have a great thing going there at the VIP Center for lunch for seniors. And other people can go too, but it costs them a little more. So, it would be a good thing to try if you haven't. And those are all the announcements that I've got in front of me here. And so we'll do the word of the day. Uh, those who have learned to disagree without becoming disagreeable have discovered the most valuable secrets of a diplomat. This is Jim Lakey hoping we have more of those around town who've done that.